guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. I feel so weird doing an intro like that with a vlog, but you know, whatever. Today I'm vlogging and I thought I would take you guys along with me. I'm gonna do my hair, that's what I'm doing now. I'm in my robe and everything, maybe a regret later, but hey, hopefully, um, you know, I have the power of editing in case there's some slippage, you know? Anyway, <laughs> I'm in my bathroom, I'm gonna do my hair now. You can even see it from the back, so. Oh, it's looking real cute, but we need a diet. I need a diet pink. So I'm using the insert name here. It's like the Care Bear collab they did. It lasts me like about two weeks or so, but the thing I really love is I just use my fingers and I don't find that it dyes my hands in any permanent way because this is like a lighter pink. So it makes it fast, it makes it easy. Anyway, I'm gonna do my hair, then I'll get in the shower. I have like a ton of stuff to do today. I'm gonna be getting my background ready for Christmas, which is what I'm gonna take you guys along with most of the day, but yeah. So let's get my hair done. I just want to get it done. All right, so I've done it, my hair. <laughs> apologies for probably how awkward that was. This probably took me six-ish minutes to do, which was really fast. You can see a little bit of pink on my hands, but when I get in the shower, it's gonna all be gone. I personally really like that I can just use my hands. It's so much easier. I don't have like the muscle memory and like kind of motor control that you see people doing like these beautiful jobs on Instagram or any other person probably who dyes their own hair. <laughs> I don't have that, so it's just easy with my hands. I just get in there, basically try to tangle my hair up as much as possible, AKA get the dye in every which way so I can have an even coverage, and that's it. So I'm gonna let this sit and probably just do a little bit of work, and then I'll get in the shower, and I'll show you guys it after I've done like blow drying it and everything. So here is the final look. I'm like just sitting in front of my background, but special things behind me. I'm so excited to get into that. I have to film a couple other videos. But anyway, this is the final result of the hair. It's not like a ton more pink, but it's just pink enough, you know? Okay, so I realized I'm in a predicament because I wanna film two different videos for two different days that happen to fall on different months. One's vlogmas, one isn't. So I have to get my background set up. But look at it, it's so cute. Look at my cute little Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm pretty obsessed with it. I've always wanted a pink Christmas tree and I'm excited to decorate it. So it's like hard. Should I focus on the tree or me? I don't know. Uh, maybe I could do this. We can both be in there. I need to fluff up like the, the branches, make sure that they're nice and, you know, spread out so that, you know, it can look good and not dinky. Anyway, so I'm gonna do that first and then I'll show you guys all the different ornaments I'm gonna put on it. Yeah, cause I need to get this set up. It's gonna be so cute. I don't know how much I wanna reveal in this video or how much I want like the first day of Vlogmas to show, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, we've done it. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's definitely a lot better. And now I'm gonna put it back in that little corner so I can decorate. I put it on a little box. Eee, it's so cute, I love it so much. Okay, I'm gonna put garland. Naturally, I've been waiting for this moment to decorate my tree with garland forever. So I have, I think this is the one I'm gonna use, but I thought this green one, I got this at Primark, like, I don't know how many years ago, because <laughs> I brought it with me from um, the UK back to my house because uh, I loved it that much. It wasn't even Christmas time. Anyway, I'm gonna use the silver, I think, because it's a little bit longer and it's gonna help, you know, beef out the tree a little bit more. I have to work movie magic. It's not long enough, so I had to like not actually wrap it around the end of the tree, but that's okay. I think it'll, I think it'll all come together. Mm. Okay. I decided to put some of this garland on also. It's one of my favorites. I got it in Solvang. They have like a Christmas shop there. So I'm gonna put this in too. The chaotic energy that is that tree. Okay, uh, the garland specifically, but still looking good. I really, oh, it's so pretty. 
I wanted to show you the ornament I bought this year. This one's from, it was stupid expensive from Anthropology, but it's a piece of honeycomb. And if you guys don't know, like first off, <laughs> hi, I'm Lauren and I love ornaments. So we have ornaments from all our different trips. We have ornaments from like everywhere. But one of the like kind of collections of ornaments that I have are like food themed. So I thought this kind of like was first off beautiful. It has these really pretty little like beads that are different colors with the bees on it. It's just a stunning ornament. Anyway, because it's honeycomb, I was like, oh my gosh, it's a food one and I've never seen honeycomb like quite this beautiful. So that's definitely going on this tree. Although I need a ribbon or something. <laughs> I need to figure that out. But I'm gonna pick out the ornaments that I want on this tree and then I'll show you them before I put them on. Okay, hi guys. So I realized I don't have lights for my tree so that I'm going out to go get that. It's like way later in the day. I had to film a different video because I was like, I need light. So I need to stop this whole situation. I can't even film the other video yet. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Get some uh, just clear lights. I'm gonna keep one thing simple, just one thing. And then everything else will be a lot. <laughs> all right guys, so I'm back. It's the next day. I got lights so you can see all the little lights on my Christmas tree. I already put them up with Sam last night. I also got these purple ones at Target. They're so cute. They're like more of a sphere, you know? Um, but yeah, I haven't really seen a straight straight up purple light strand. So I got that for my Barbie tree, which is my little flashing blinking purple tree I've had for years. I don't know if I'm gonna set it up this year. We'll see how the background goes. I just don't know where it will fit, but I also don't exactly know what my frame's gonna be for the background. Anyway, okay. I did pick out all my ornaments yesterday. I'm excited to like go through them. So I'm gonna show you those in a second, but I just, I feel like I have one of these like heart to heart, sit down, talky type moments and every one of my fucking vlogs. But I don't know, I was just, even today I was kind of like, uh, I don't know if I wanna vlog. I don't know if I wanna like show myself putting the decorations on the tree cause my body. I probably should have started that one with the trigger warning, so sorry, but just this is gonna be a little bit of talk about <laughs> body insecurity in general. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just was like, I, I saw some of the footage that I had already, you know, filmed and I was just like, that's what I look like. And I had this whole moment of like, I could still scrap it, no one would know. And it's like so weird because this idea idea of like no one would know what that my body body exists like you know what I mean I don't know it's so strange the kind of disconnect I guess it's like I live my life and I like being me and all these things but then sometimes I'll get like a glimpse of myself in a mirror or see this and I'm like that's what I look like and it makes me question why I'm like out or why I'm doing this and it makes no sense because only minutes before body looking exactly the same <laughs> everything was great and only once I see it or you know and who even knows what that perception really is in real life <laughs> compared to what I see type of thing. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm pushing forward with the vlog is what ultimately I'm trying to say. I like had to like actively choose to not, I guess dress my life up in a way that looks presentable or like everyone else's. Like I think something with the vlogging, I actually enjoy doing them once or twice a month type of thing. But um, I think something with the vlogging, it feels like it forces you to compare your life to other people's when you see other people's vlogs or you see other people's stuff and you're like, does mine match up? All my stuff isn't brand new or, you know, I, I mean, I love having my own style, so I don't mind that, but it's definitely like, I don't have like the brightest lighting where all the light in my room just makes me and everything I own look, you know, magnificent or I don't have that like perfect skinny little body or I don't have all that type of stuff. I don't know. Sometimes it makes me want to like not vlog because it's like, well, I don't want to show it if I don't have that stuff. But that's like most of us, you know, I no hate to anyone else. Like this isn't about other people. It's just about me working through my own stuff of like, first off, I like all my... <laughs> Stuff. I do like where I'm at. It's only once I film it to show other people that I feel that way anyway. I don't really know where it's going. I want to keep the Christmas cheer alive. I don't, I don't want to talk about that or deal with that. So um, we're going to keep moving on. I just wanted to show that because I think even you guys at home probably see me and think that I don't have insecurities or I'm just whatever and it's not true. It's like we all fucking do. We're all just people trying to do our shit, trying to live our life have some fun stuff in our life, work through some bad stuff in our life. Like, you know, anyway, okay. Ah, 
Oh, I don't know why this vlog is going there, but okay. I'm going to light a candle. I'm lighting this one today because I'm like doing the tree. So it's like, I want to, I want a balsam one, but I want to go a little smoky. I'm like, I want an edge. I'm feeling a little bit edgier today than just, you know, a regular one. So I'm doing this one from Otherland. It's so funny. I mentioned this in a video recently, but I picked this one out. They sent it to me and I was like so excited because this is called Fallen Fur. And I was like, oh my God, I love pine scents and all that. And when I got it, I was like, <sighs> you know, taken aback because it's kind of smoky. But at that time I was like, I don't know, it's a lot. I don't, you know, like I liked it, but it was like, I don't know if I smelled that in store if I would have bought it. But now smelling it, I'm like, it's not nearly as heavy as I remember. It's like, mm, I don't know. Someone had a cigar sitting next to a tree. I kind of like that. <laughs> I'm kind of into that. <laughs> I guess I've just been liking the smoke because I also picked up recently that rhubarb smoke or whatever candle from Boy Smells. So yeah, I'm just into it. So that's what I'm gonna light. And I'm going to show you guys the ornaments that I picked out. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. I'm gonna try to keep it short. <laughs> I'm really gonna try. I'm gonna, you know, really speed up that footage, but I do kind of want to run through them with you. I think some of you guys would enjoy that, and I really want to focus on some of the Christmas cheer in this video. So let's light the candle and I'll show you this stuff. Oh no, I'm trying to be all cute. Get out of there. All right, so this is the box of ornaments that I wanna put on the tree. I think I think it'll look good, hopefully. A lot of these are the candy ones, so I have like this chocolate bar one. This is like, oh gosh. <laughs> I have this one as well. I love that, it's so pretty. Over the years, I've picked up quite a few of these like kind of gummy ones. So this one's like a gumdrop, but I also specifically have a cute little gummy bear. I love that one. I said that this was the only one from Anthro that I picked up, but I did pick up actually a really beautiful cotton candy one this year as well. I don't know where it is, I need to find it, I don't know how. I've lost it literally within the last, I don't know, month. Uh, but I did pick that up as well. But um, of course, naturally, I have quite a few of the cotton candy ornaments. So I have this one, which is really pretty. And then I also have this one, which I think is also quite beautiful, definitely different. It's like a clear pink glass with, um, it looks like cotton kind of stuffed in there, really cute. So I have this one, a little alien dude from Roswell when me and Sam went to Roswell, New Mexico. And then I have this little llama from when we went to Peru. This is just like more candy stuff because I just think it's cute as hell. <laughs> more candy. This is like a strawberry. I think it's so pretty. I wanted to put chocolate on it, but I haven't done that yet. Who knows if I ever will. Um, and then another cupcake, more candies and sweets. This is like one of those ribbon candies. And then obviously a donut. I have this really cute macaron that's in a mint color. This next one's more sentimental. This is my probably favorite ornament I own, which is funny because it's so plain, but this is Merry Christmas 2010. Um, it has my name from Sam and he just got it from Macy's, but 2010 is like, we're very young. I don't know, it's just one of my oldest ornaments and one that I cherish. More candy food. I mean, this one is just so funny to me, the waffles. <laughs> um, another one of these little candy ones. I saw some cute candy ornaments actually at Rite Aid too, so if you were interested, they have a few cuties over there. Another little chocolate bar one. This one's actually glass, which I really like. This is like a gingerbread cookie. And this one I just like. I just like the look of it. I think it, I don't even know if it's supposed to be an ornament. It's like a tassel, but I always put it on my tree. We have this little heart one I got from Target. I don't even know, 20, <laughs> I don't know, 2010 probably. This is one my niece made me. Um, she like painted it inside. And then I have this stained glass ornament that I got, re like I was really young, maybe eighth grade when I got this, um, probably in Colorado, I think. So yeah, I love that one. I have another Peru ornament that I love. This wasn't supposed to be an ornament. I just made it into one. That's what I suggest. If people don't have ornaments, you just make it. And then this is another donut. This is Marie Antoinette. I got this when we were at uh, Versailles, Castle of Versailles, the Petit Trianon, I think is hers or something, but that's where I got engaged. So yeah, this is a really beautiful glass balloon ornament that I got when we were in Venice. 
You guys have seen this now three times. I think this might have been something I got this year as well. I don't remember where, maybe in Solving, um, but it's just a fish, but it's like pretty and glittery. I like it. This is an ornament I got when we were in London. Um, I guess we should talk about this big guy. This is one I just got from the thrift store, again, probably 12 years ago. And it's like a velvet golden color, like a mustardy golden color, and it's massive. And I just love that it's fabric, like texturally, I really like it. It looks so retro and vintage. And I also like how odd it looks as this like large ornament compared to all the other ornaments. I don't know. I just love this. I love the color as well. So I have my little narwhal, which I feel like is in all my videos every year around this time. This is a huge, like, I don't know, cake pop, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, it's massive and quite heavy, but I have that. This one in the back corner is actually my wedding ornament. So um, we gave out ornaments as our gifts for everyone. You know how they people do that sometimes at weddings. So I picked all these ornaments that kind of went together, all kind of in this champagne color. And um, yeah, everyone could pick the ornament they wanted off of this kind of display thing. That was, anyway. Yeah, so I love that. I think this one's such a unique one and perfect for my like candy theme. So uh, I love that little gumball machine. I mean, we gotta put Jack on the tree. So I have my Jack one and I put the dates on mine. So I wrote Disneyland, October, 2013. And last, just a beautiful glittery ornament. I love this because it's like holographic glitter. And those are the ornaments I'm putting on the tree. So I'm gonna put those on now and start making it look all pretty. Okay, so I put the curtain back down because that's gonna be part of my background, but <laughs> this is so tough. How do, how do I do this? Okay, I'm trying to show everything, but again, we're running into the problem where I'm running off of screen essentially. Um, but I plan to sit here-ish. I still don't know what the back's gonna look like. I might move things around, you guys know. Okay, anyway, but I'm gonna... <laughs> Oh no, I'm breaking them. I have these, which I got, I think from the dollar store probably 10 years ago. <laughs> I keep everything. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna put these on, like pin them to the curtain, but I'm also gonna steam it first. And that's gonna be part of my background too. And I think that's mostly it, that's that's the background. So um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out and getting into the Christmas spirit because tomorrow starts Vlogmas. I'm really excited for it, but also, <laughs> I always kind of go by the seat of my pants, so, you know. It'll be a lot of work, but it's gonna be super fun. So I'm excited, I hope you guys are too, and I will see you tomorrow for sure with another video. Uh, see you then, bye guys.